Okay, so this is a little solar bank that I had on the roof. Uh, I built this about eight years ago. It's two 100 watt, well, no, not 100 watt. It's two 10 watt panels. I think they're 10 watts. I have to look at the sticker and see if you can see it. Two 10 watt panels. Um, I built this little frame for it with concrete blocks, tap cons to keep it from blowing away. And it's been up there running away for about 10 years, so maybe it'll still have some life left in it and be able to charge these batteries. Uh, they're two 12 volt panels, so it should put out uh, 27 volts or so in full sunlight. Not today, it's very overcast, but we're gonna give it a shot here in just a minute. I'm gonna test it after I get it apart. In case you're curious, this is constructed very simply out of this, uh, this is just a piece of angle iron and a piece of square stock hollow. So I'm holding it on there by putting a holes in the end here and I'm holding it on there by just taking this piece of threaded rod the acorn nuts on the end and running it through the center of that and bolting it together it's cut to length here so that it matches and uh, it's a pretty good design I guess it's held up for probably, probably about eight years it have the sense of mind to attach the frames of these panels through this exterior so the screw goes through there all the way into the frame all right so i got these two reclaimed solar panels that will hopefully put out the correct voltage the panel number one is reading just at 20 volts open circuit so that is likely a 12 volt panel and this one is also reading about the same it does not appear to be wired the same way though all right, I got this panel array cleaned up and put back together, and instead of getting an open voltage of 15 volts per panel, we are now getting 20, which is fantastic. So in series, they are reading just about 40. So getting a lot more power out of them <laughs> clean than dirty, big surprise. So now we're gonna hook these up to that charge controller and see if they actually work. Uh, this is a lot higher voltage than it needs, so it should be able to pull that down and charge the batteries correctly. So we will try it, but it's getting a little late in the day, so we're going to try it tomorrow. Alright, we're going to try this again. I got the solar panels set up now. I've got my little, uh, supposed solar charger here. It says that it's uh, MPPT, but I don't believe that it is. It doesn't have the right components inside to be MPPT. 24 volt battery bank. This uh, solar panel, nice su sunny day. Uh, if you remember in the last time we tried this with a power supply and it didn't like it so much. All right, so first got my uh, handy El Cheapo multimeter. I'm just gonna make sure we got correct voltage on this. Should be over 40 volts, I'm hoping. Open circuit. So we got 40.6. So that is fantastic. All right, we're gonna wire him into our charge controller. All right, I can't hold the camera and do this at the same time. So I got my two amp fuse in line here with the battery side. So if something bad happens, that will definitely pop. And it says to wire in the batteries first. So we've got an overlow condition. I don't know how that's showing up on the camera. Overlow, which is their way of saying too low. We're gonna wire the panel in next and see what happens. All right, I got the panel hooked up, didn't blow a fuse, so this thing works like it's supposed to, theoretically. Uh, with the panel plugged in, we're getting 23.6. We were getting 23.4 before, so it is actually charging. I don't know why it's jumping up to 40 volts. It's like it's, uh, it's doing something. Uh, 23.6 there and 23.6 here. That it's uh, on the battery, makes sense. And the output is zero. That's because this guy, I don't know if you can see it, it still says over low. So it will not turn on the, let's shade it a little. It will not turn on the output until that is battery voltage is normal again. Now the solar light is on. It's kind of hard to see in the video. But that solar light is green, albeit very dim. Uh, and the battery voltage is too low. So we're just gonna let this sit for a while and see if it charges up. Yeah. All right, so it's been about 40 minutes. This has been sitting in very direct sunlight, charging. 
And let's see what we got here on the battery terminals. We're registering at. Come on, get in there. 23.9, so it is charging. Uh, I believe this has to be upwards of 24 before it's going to turn on the output. It's still registering its over low, and the output's still dead. So, 23.9, 24, it's definitely charging. Alright, so it's been about an hour while this has been charging here in the direct sunlight. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it'll be higher than the last, which was just 24 volts, 30, 20, oh, yep. Yeah, it was 23.9 last time we checked it. It's been close to an hour and it's gone up 0.2 volts. So it is definitely working, uh, albeit very slowly. And we have our solar light on. It is really hard to see. It is on though. And the over low light is on. The normal light is not on yet and the full light is not on. So it is still in its charging mode and the load is disabled. My volt, my volt meter on this. Yeah, it's still zero. Until this thing reaches a certain voltage that will, I don't know what that voltage is, but until it reaches the charged voltage, this will stay the way it is in overload. So we're going to have to leave this and do this a different time because this is going to take hours to let this charge up all the way. But it does look like it's working.